What's up, my people? Back on site. Got the retainer mall cut laid out. This uh, blue line here is going to be roughly the wall. I'm going to give us a uh, cut back into here for the new base. And uh, the wall's going to go about to this area somewhere in here and then cut back we're going to do a 90 so it will be straight and a 90 allen block system they step back one inch every eight inches so make sure you get your layout on your wall this will be my first block here then after six or seven feet we got a 10 inch setback step back i should say so if i got this correctly we're not we're going to be right here we won't be near that drive it. Just gonna make some cuts like this. Get to where the wall, where the old footing is square. I'll dig into that a little bit. I'm actually just gonna get rid of that whole footing that was in there. That way I know it's right. Put everything over here where it's needed to build this up. all right base is all cut out ready to go just shot in with my spectra laser gotta love the self-leveling lasers set it right up on the skid steer set it up on a bank don't make it will level out here's my wall pin here as you see the base is way out here be plenty in front of it you want to put enough base in the front you want to kind of keep that wall you know to the middle of the base uh the best you can but have enough eight to ten inches in front of it for sure i'm gonna fill this up with crusher run about eight to ten inches compact it and uh be good to go ready for the first course Crush a run in about 10 inches to a foot thick, over three foot wide. Get our compaction on. All right, that is grade. Every X is grade. So I went big X every four foot, got my grade, and then raked out in between and put the little X's in between. And we are dead nuts from point A to point B. stone blocks everything placed ready to go back on site just putting in this base we're putting a half inch of uh, concrete sand down all i do is take my pins here and i shoot them in with a laser i put them in four or five different spots and then just put an eighth inch pitch or so going back on this pin so there is my pin there 
you just set that pin on there dead perfect come down to your last pin here now of course my base is dead perfect so because i shot that all in yesterday so we had to come up with a little bit of sand here and uh we should be good to go all right got the first course in the return here our corner blocks just i lay it to a string line i got two pins one there and one there on a string line leave it about a quarter inch high above the block and use that as a range obviously you put every course in with a level dead level and pitching back just a touch i like eighth inch pitch going backwards after i'm all done i take a straight edge on the back side of the wall, wall and just make sure she's true all the way and then i dump a little sand inside the block as so that helps then the rest gets filled with stone obviously um but the sand will allow it if there's any voids or anything to get in there after the first rainstorm next we're gonna put the pipe in and then backfill the pipe with stone and we get geo grid on first course because the wall is seven foot so this is the geo grid and we'll show you that in a bit all right these are allen block and their sandal wood is the color six degree they make a 12 degree which steps back i think an inch and a half this steps back one inch per block got the stone going in we got our pipe keyed into the daylight drain on the house here's our pipe here behind the wall our t going in and then it goes out into the woods we'll get uh this first course filled with stone fill some in front of it too then put our geo grid on after you take a shovel and get the bulk rock off take it on the blower fine tune it you can't have one pebble on here it's got to be completely cleaned off when you're going to put your next course on or before the geo grid because once the geo grid's down you're not going to get them rocks out either just make sure all these rocks are off this block and you'll be good to go all right geo grid is in that's how you install it it's flexible you can move it to get a rock out of the way or whatever but just make sure it gets to this front edge all around then your blocks go right on here it's supposed to stabilize the soil which we have no soil we're filling this whole thing up with stone which is ideal back on site just about to live in 30 let's see what we got a few more courses lots of rock got the corner being built our geo grids in every two courses we throw geo grid so right now we'll fill these blocks with stone right on up and then another course of geo grid but we got one two three four five courses nice and straight too look at that huh boom nice and straight got our eighth course going on now with these corners you gotta cut each lip to make these work i'll show you that on the next corner they don't they don't fit in so you gotta customize it got our geo grid all our stone so on the corners like i was saying see how this is beveled this notch you gotta continue that notch here so it sits in this notch all right 
It's obviously a good Once you get it cut, take a hammer, cut it deep enough. Take a hammer, do that. Good to go. Back the next morning, got a few more block to go there. Five more block there and we are at height. Then we got a backfill with stone to the top and going to grade out this side, put our caps on and be done. Here we go up off on the back side of the wall. Got this little void to fill because we can't get in because of the deck overhang on the right. on site walls at height gonna extend it back in here a few or ten block a few or ten block he says but it's gonna come in here gonna there's my over dig gonna dig it down just to return this grade this down our caps are here ready to go today should close this project out let's get to it getting this return in we got two more block left gonna get it in and be done all right return is all built just moving some bigger rocks out of there and i'm tracking and packing that slope again the stairs are gonna go up that slope about three foot away and they're gonna do plantings and a couple boulders make it look like a natural you know stone stepping deal it will look nice once it's done and why do you need a tow bucket? Well, that's why you need a tow bucket. All right, all tracked and packed. Looking pretty. A little cleanup. We're going to get our caps going. Everything's looking good. Plenty of stone. This is the four foot thick just on this little wall of stone. Going to start throwing caps on. And then grade this. We'll put uh, filter fabric, which I have right there next to the door. Filter fabric on here and then put the dirt right over that and grade this out. So the caps are smooth, three sides rough on one side. So when you hit a corner, you got to make a fracture face like this. I just use a chisel, cut back an inch and a half on the whole thing and give your, make yourself that face. See, the faces are like this, smooth on three sides. So when this sits on there, it's going to have a rough face this way and a rough face that way you can 45 these but then you're gonna have a 45 cut and we're putting fence posts up here so you want a solid cap in the corner i like the look of that better than a 45 anyways so this should be looking like that just for clarification in case that didn't make sense so here's the piece i chisel all the way around your inch and a half it comes off it was smooth on this side and it's fracture face on that side now then you got to saw cut your notch for the lip put it in it saw cut just hit it off there's your homemade lip go over that lip all right caps all installed fabric installed ready to cut some grade and put the soil behind it everything's glued straight we use that straight edge our, our screed board to put the cap straight at the end in case any imperfections are in the wall, you will get them out with the cap. You could either lay them to a string line or just use a 12 foot screen board. Looking good. All right, gonna start cutting grade. Obviously, tilt bucket, you need it. Come on now. You wouldn't be cutting like this if you didn't have a tilt bucket. Sorry to tell you that. All right. 
right, all graded out. Looking good. All the grades will work out. Once these uh, caps are dry and everything settles out, topsoil will come in and go right up to the cap and be good. I didn't want to push the dirt up against the cap with the cap still could slide back and forth just a touch because it'll glue. No chances here. Again, stairs gonna come here. And let's give one last look at a wall. AB wall, there it is. Nice and nice. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you're not. Like, share, you boys know the drill. And girls, see you on the next one.